Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. So I have here my Quick FX No Shine Mattifying Primer and Moisturizer. It's going to help with your pores and fine lines for application. And then I have here my LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector in Green. If you've seen my previous vlogs, I've been using this all the time for my pimples, pimple scars, and that redness around my nose. I put it in before putting foundation. So I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in Vanilla. Again, I've been using this for years. And I usually apply it with my damp beauty sponge. Make sure it's damp, okay? Not too wet and not dry, just damp. It helps with a smoother application like this. Uh, see? And if you want to build up the coverage, you can always put in more the way I'm doing right now. Don't forget to cover also your eyelids. Sometimes I miss that part when I'm doing my makeup. So make sure you cover all areas, include your neck also. Next is concealer. So concealer for pimple marks and under eyes. And sometimes I extend around the corners like this. It helps me with my eyeshadow later on. It serves like a guide. Okay, I'm still not so perfect with that. <laughs> and put in your concealer just right where you want it. Don't spread it around too much. Just right where you want it. If you can notice like how I dab it in. It's not It's over over everywhere. Nah. And yeah, oops. <laughs> On my mouth. <laughs> so, yeah. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. I keep it at that while I put on the rest of my makeup. Next is eyebrows. I'm using Intuit powder product that they have with the darkest shade on the palette. So my brows are not groomed. <laughs> um, I'm trying my best to get it in shape despite its condition. So... It's really harder to draw in your eyebrows when it's not groomed well. Okay, so my tip is if you're still new to doing your eyebrows, better to have it groomed first. So the shape is more intact. I'm cleaning it up with more foundation just to cover the hair and the area. And if you notice, it was a bit too high. It arched too high, so I'm using foundation again to correct the shape. You can always do that. Don't be afraid to correct yourself while doing makeup. So if wrong, get wrong. <laughs> if foundation, coverage should die. Okay, rana. Tada! See, just blend it out. It's gonna look fine. It looks more balanced than before. I think I overdrawn it. Mm, this time, I'm putting my eyeliner first. Just so I don't have to do it later when I already have eyeshadow. So, unahan na ako eyeliner daan. Then, I also extend it a little bit on the sides. Um, it helps me nga. I have a guide again for my eyeshadow. <laughs> there. Yeah. Ganon. Ana ra. Spread it out and, uh, with a tiny brush. Mm. If you plan to put um, like the liquid eyeliner, this can help also. So, ana lang. I give myself a guide. Ta da! Mm. Next is I put powder on my eyelids just to set it and. Mas mukapit ang eyeshadow that way. So, gawai lang. I put um, powder. I forgot the. I think it's just Nichido brand <laughs> for this that I used. So, next, I'm using my Febble eyeshadow palette. I'll just put in the 
colors that I used. It's like the strong magenta color, but I'm trying my best to apply it lightly and just balance it one eye to the next. Then put in some of that also on your under eye like this. Give it that blended soft um, look. Ta -da. And then I'm using like a light. It's not too shimmery but there's a little glitter on this color. It's still more of a purple ish magenta shade I'm putting that in there and yes I'm over it <laughs> and I'm using a different brush to blend that out you don't want to see like that edge over there like the straight line you want to blur that part so you use a different brush to blur that out and blend it I'm using this Etude um, Shimmery Pot that was gifted to me by my twin. It's not really, really shimmery, but just a little bit. I just wanted this to be like simple lang like that. Not too heavy ng a shimmer. Next, I'm using the Squad palette, which has the blush and the contour and highlight already in one. So when I do my contour, I try to blend it upwards and I use a different brush to blend it. One for application and then a bigger brush for blending it out. Somehow it works for me. It's a process for contour. So blend it out, blend it out. <laughs> I really love doing makeup that's blended like it's there but it's not there if you notice that's how i like my makeup nah. yeah that's the concept i always have like it's there but it's not there like dili siya marag obvious ka ayong pak di contour jud next i have here my nose contour so i use the caroline contour stick because it's easier for me to use then powder. I don't know why. Sometimes I go overboard when I use powder. So with this um, contour stick, it's easier. So when you do your nose um, contour, you want to look at it also from the sides. Nah, it still looks natural when you look at it from the sides like that. Mm. Nine. You can add powder <laughs> if you want around that area, but. I try not to overdo it na. Next is blush. Fuck. I try to go in um, lighter at first and build it up just so it's, you know, I can control the blush that I'm getting. Because sometimes it's a little overboard with, when it comes to blush. So, to get that soft blend effect, I go in a little at a time. There. Mm -hmm. Blend it out, blend it out. Next is highlight. It's Caroline. Um, I'll put the specifics. And then I use a smaller brush to really get in like kanat lang area. So it doesn't spread everywhere. As much as we love highlight, we don't want it in our whole cheek or something. So you use a smaller brush and be strategic <laughs> with how you put your highlights. So nose, tip of the nose, and just kana lang yun know, edges lang pa. Mm, I love doing this kind of makeup on myself because I feel like this is the best um, one for me. You can go heavier if you want, but for my face, this is how I like it. Now we have the Superstay Matte Ink in Pathfinder shade. This is actually the reason why I'm doing this uh, makeup look. I've been watching this um, lipstick lying on my 
makeup table and I'm like, I want to use it today. So, yeah, that's the reason I'm doing this whole makeup look. It's just a pretty pink. Uh, I don't know, it brightens up your face. I try to go back to my eyeshadow once I'm done with the rest of my face. I try to give it a bit more color. And yes, nag snacks ko. <laughs> doing my eyelashes. So, just the usual curler and then mascara. And then, I change the lighting to white. Mm. Blend it out more if you want. Add more if you feel like kulang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, time to put in my false eyelashes. Ta-da! So this is the final look. And anak lang, chika lang for a birthday look. <laughs> so thanks to my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink for inspiring me for this look. So I did switch up my hair. Gina ko bet tong ganina. Ta-da! Ready for a stay-at-home birthday look. Yay! Do give this a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye!